Okay, lesson 14-8, word problems involving mass and liquid volumes. Okay, so what we're going to be working with here are liters and milliliters and then kilograms and grams. So those are the, the units that we're going to be working with, right? So we know that there's one thousand milliliters in one liter and 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So the, the grams are the smaller unit and the milliliters are the smaller unit. And then liters are much bigger and uh, kilograms are much bigger, okay? So if we're gonna look over here, we're gonna use milliliters and liters. This shows us right here that this line is how much? One liter. This one you can see is also one liter, but see all these lines right here? These are going to be milliliters. So if this is halfway make is 500, it's gonna be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, which is one liter, okay? So this one, this is the 500 milliliter mark and it's at the notch right below it. So that should be 100, 200, 300, should be 400 milliliters. So the capacity of the container is one, liter and 400 milliliters. Now let's look at this one over down here, okay? We have kilograms and grams, kilograms being our big one. So this, is, this one right here weighs one kilogram, and then we have in grams, we have 100 plus 10 plus 10, which is 120. So we have one kilogram and 120 grams. You could write out grams too if you want. It doesn't matter if you write out grams or put a G. Everybody knows the G stands for grams, okay? All right, let's take a look at number three. A restaurant made 35 liters of lemonade. After lunch, there were 18 liters left. How many liters of lemonade did the restaurant serve during lunch? So if we look at our bar diagram, our total is up at the top, 35 liters in all. We have the amount that's left and then our missing number is how much we sold during lunch. Because if we had 35 liters total, we sold a certain amount during lunch, we have 18 liters left. So we have something plus 18 equals 35. We know from our fact family that we can do 35 minus 18 equals what? So go ahead and subtract 35 minus 18. 35 minus 18 and write the answer right there. Pause it. I want you to use subtraction with regrouping. So you need to write it this way. Pause it and do that, and then come back. Okay, more on the floor. So we should have 17 liters. So this is 17 liters sold during lunch. Okay, so the restaurant serves 17 liters of lemonade during lunch. Okay, number four. Chelsea has 180 grams of dried mixed fruit. So that's our total on the top of our bar diagram. She divides the fruit into six equal bags. How many grams are divided into the fruit? Okay, so we have 18 total divided into six equal bags. So you tell me what that is. Pause it. Okay, so what number times six equals 18 should be three. So each bag has three grams. And think about it, if this was three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, then that would make sense. All right, it always has to make sense at the end. All right, a bag of apples has a mass of two kilograms. So here's our bag of apples, okay, two kilograms. Carlos buys a total of 16 kilograms. So how many bags of apples does he buy? Okay, well, we can just draw each bag until we get to, to uh, 16 kilograms. So figure out how many bags of apples. You could also do a bar diagram. 16 kilograms at the top, and you're just gonna keep adding two kilograms at a time until you get up to 16 and see each one of these is a bag of apples. So pause it and figure out how many bags of apples did he buy if each bag of apples weighs two kilograms and he bought a total of 16 kilograms. Pause it.
Okay, how many did you come up with? Should be eight bags. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times two equals 16. Okay, you also could have just keep drawing bags over here. They shouldn't be this much smaller, but that's okay, I'm running out of room. Okay, so if each bag is two kilograms, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So that's eight bags. Okay, great job. See you tomorrow.